Hey everyone, Once Bitten here. So, last week on my Facebook page, I posted this picture, or a similar picture, and said that I was going to be giving this model away on my channel. And I am. I said I was going to do it this week, and I've, decided, I've changed my mind. I'm going to do it in three or four weeks, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But, you know, on my channel, every once in a while, you'll see me talking about or posting videos um, about TMS, Tabletop Miniature Solutions, in Poland. And one reason that happens is simply because this is a miniature company that that proactively reaches out to me to um, just get the word out on what they have. So he sent me this, they sent me this model for free. So um, I thought I'd paint it up and uh, use it as a giveaway on the channel, which is kind of fun for me. Uh, of course, it slows down painting of my own armies, but I'm getting to the point now where I have enough stuff painted. I can play anything, most anything I want, and I'm, you know, so... I have time to paint other stuff. I also use this as an opportunity to try to test out some painting techniques. I've improved a lot in my painting over the last couple years. I'm still really unhappy with how I do some things. I found this model to be very forgiving. I thought, <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, but I, I want to point out the gems. I think the gems look really good. <laughs> For those of you who can really know how to paint, you can probably look closely and, and critique some parts of it, but I think these are the best gems I've ever painted. And the blending on her stomach. So this is supposed to be like a, a stone construct. So it's kind of, you know, mottled green and jade on the bottom half. And then it goes into like a, a, a stone color ivory almost on the top half. And it just kind of blends at her stomach. And I thought it blended pretty well. I'm not overly happy with the way that I'm bringing highlights up. Uh, I think I could do a lot better job on these feathered wings. I think those are the kind of things that are easy to paint. So, you know, I painted them, I dry brushed them, and then I kind of dry brush the tips more, but I just need to improve on that. Um, not, but they still look good though, because they, they have so much, so much texture that it's, it's pretty easy to, to make them look good. On the headdress, you, you can't really tell here. I practiced wet blending on them. I'm actually par fairly happy with how it turned out. Um, I used a, a brush and you can, you can, if you look really closely, you can see some lines, but for the most part, you can't see any lines there. And again, my biggest complaint is I don't really make them pop. Um, with the extreme highlights as much as I want to, but I was really happy with the uh, with uh, my first real attempt at doing some wet blending. The gold, it's it was um, my initial thought was to paint it like this and then highlight the edges, make it a lot brighter. But I think I'm going to leave it as it is because it just kind of it, it looks good with the model. I think it uh, it looks kind of like an old an old metal, and um, I think the color contrasts fairly nicely. Yeah, so just a huge fan of it. So again, I painted it up. The plan was to, to give it away on my channel. And the way that works is I, um, I, uh, I mean, I appreciate all my viewers, but I don't, I have no way of knowing who watches videos or anything like that. Um, but I do know the people that, that send, send the channel money, whether it's like a dollar, a one time dollar or whatever. Those are people that I, that I, that I know. I have their email address and um, they're, you know, they legitimately watch my channel enough to justify that they would send me some kind of money. So what I do is I go uh, through the last six months and anybody who on Patreon or through PayPal directly has donated anything, I list all their names at Excel. I tell Excel to, to generate a random number between those rows and, uh, I, and I just send this for free to whomever that comes up. Or actually I email that person and say, I'm going to give this to you if you want it. Do you want it? And if you do, send me your, your physical address. So I've done that a few times now. Um, it's very rewarding. I really like it. So I took this, I took an Undying Dynasties list to a tournament this last weekend. It was just a one-day tournament, a very informal one. Most, A lot of the armies were works in progress. This is one of those practice tournaments where people are building up their next tournament list. So I decided not to do battle reports on it because, um, you know, some of the armies weren't painted. Um... I forgot I was I was forgetting to take pictures a lot because it's I'm so out of practice with it. Uh, and the irony is I actually won the tournament, which was very cool. And it, and, and these are the games I'm not going to post. But I took this model to it, and I'm to, I have to be honest, it was hard to 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 still give it away after this tournament. It looked so much better on the table than it even did when I was painting it. I fell in love, absolutely fell in love with it. It was so beautiful. I had people coming from across the game store, not even, not even people playing in our tournament asking me about this model. Um, it's like, darn it. Now I have to buy another one <laughs> and paint it again for me, but I think I will. Oh gosh. 
All right, so that's going to happen. The reason I'm not going to do it this week, though, is because I'm going to another tournament in, I believe, four weeks, and I want to take it again. So I'm going to take it to one more tournament, and then I'm going to give it away. All right, so another thing I did, this is um, a model owned by a guy in my gaming club, and I just said, I just asked him if I could paint it for him. Because again, I want to I want to practice some painting techniques. And um, this is a work in progress pick. I got it to this point and then I gave it back to him because I didn't want to do the assembly of, of the rider and the stuff like that. <clears throat> so if he ever gives it back to me, I'll finish it. Um, but for the most part, on the beast itself, this is done. And again, I'm, I'm really happy with the... Um, I really like doing like this, a base coat in modeled colors. Like this has like like a red and then three different shades of green and then I start doing some highlighting over it and there's probably think painters out there know a better way to do that I'm open to it because I'm not a th you know 100 percent satisfied satisfied with this but I'm about 90 percent I think this looks really cool one thing I tried that I I never would have done except my wife encouraged me several times to <clears throat> is is a um I actually put some metal on them and go back one. So you see that purple line. I wanted it to have a very distinct contrast between the body and whatever that thing is on top. So I painted that <clears throat> more of a purple instead of the greens and reds. And then on my wife's suggestion, I went back and did a heavy, um, I didn't, I wouldn't call it a, a dry brush technique. Um, and I, it's something more than just a edge highlighting. But anyway, I did some heavy highlighting with silver. And then I put a purple wash over that and it just kind of I don't know I think I like it uh, I usually don't like to put metal colors on something that's supposed to be natural uh, but at the same time it it not only is that little section distinct it kind of pops more and I thought that was interesting so I think get a sense of it there so actually I'm kind of t happy with how that that technique turned out I'm unhappy with with um how I did the light color underbelly. Look at this picture, this at where the ribs are. And I just, that's just a very, it looks very heavy handed. And that's how I feel like I used to paint and I'm getting away from it. And I still kind of did the underbelly like that. So like at the back half underbelly, I like how that looks. And the front half, I'm not thrilled. So anyway, I'm painting this up um, just because I wanted to get some practice painting. And I think I'm going to be painting a, a, a Saurian Ancients army for a buddy of mine. He has um, a lot. He has a lot of models for it, and we'll never get it painted. And so I'm going to help him get that done. So this is a kind of a painting update and a little announcement about the giveaway that'll be coming up in about a month. Hope you enjoyed it.